which cloud I should be learning first. Is it Amazon AWS or Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud or Oracle? Uh, this is the common question I get in my free classes that I run. Uh, so I thought I'll take this opportunity to answer this question so that it can help you to understand backed by the data on what I think, including in your situation, what you should be do doing depending on these certain criteria. Also, um, also give you an opportunity to learn more on these topics and something else, additional things that you want to learn. Uh, but before that, why you should be listening to me? My name is Atul. I'm based in uh, UK and I've been more than two decades in IT and last more than a decade now on cloud, multi-cloud. I've worked pretty much all the cloud. I've um, also worked with some of the banks and telecoms as well. And what we have these are some of the customers whom, uh, with whom I've worked in last uh, more than a decade or more than two decades. And these are some of the individuals I've helped you um, to uh, get into cloud as well. So going back to actually which cloud you should be looking into if you look at the numbers. So first and most important is that uh, this is the data which is from 2023 from a company Statista. And the 32% market share is captured in cloud by AWS, followed by Microsoft Azure, 23%, and then followed by Google. If you look at the right-hand side stats uh, from Gartner's Magic Quadrant, as per Gartner's Magic Quadrant of um, the 2022, the Amazon was the leader in uh, last consecutive 12 years from um, on AWS cloud from a, from a cloud perspective point of view. But having said this, uh, Microsoft Azure, as we saw in the diagram earlier, is catching up. They are one of the fastest growing cloud with more than 95% uh, Fortune 500 companies using Microsoft Cloud as well. So there's a big demand as well. So I think these are the two top. But having said that, it depends on actually what you should be doing. I started my cloud and I'll, I'll let me cover first these four options and then I'll tell you which one cloud I picked. So if you have no preferences, if you have no idea about what to work and if you have not inclination or if you're not working on any technologies right now, I think AWS should be the good option because it has a bigger op uh, opportunities, more opportunities as well uh, as, as well. So if you want to work on a companies which are prevented, uh, which are already using cloud or AWS cloud, and I think that's a good starting point. But if you're already working on Microsoft products, like if you're a developer, based on developing on .NET. Microsoft has a big uh, development uh, development uh, scope, uh, like basically developer community as well. So if you're a developer or if you're working on a .NET or you're working on Microsoft SQL or any Microsoft or Active Directory or any of Microsoft uh, products, then it's always good practice to go with Microsoft Azure as well. Or if you are all, if you already have a company where you are they're implementing Azure, then you pick that particular part. Google is good for if you're going for high performance compute, if you're working on AI machine learning um, implementation on um, on, or they have a big query as well. So Google for that. And finally, fourth Oracle. Uh, if you are working on a specialized things like Oracle databases, if you're already in Oracle DBA, there's a huge Oracle database community. If you're already in Oracle DBA. Or if you are on, um, or you're working on eBusiness Suite, PeopleSoft, JD Edward, any of the Oracle products or Oracle Fusion applications or, or anything specialized in Oracle, that you begin with Oracle um, then. I started back in, I think, 2012, 13, started my cloud journey on Oracle first because I was working already on Oracle eBusiness Suite, Oracle Apps DB, Oracle ERP, CRM, architect. I was designing and implementing and architecting Oracle systems databases as well. But then I slowly saw the growth in other clouds and slowly added another multi-cloud as well. So let me know in the chat window which one you think you should be based on your background or if still not clear, let me know, put it in the chat window so I can answer that question based on your situation uh, as, as well. And I, I think based on that, we might give you some free classes as well. Also, if you want to know more or if you want to learn more content, you can answer, go to this URL, ketonacademy.com forward slash which cloud, enter your name, email address, and select all the cloud in which you want to work, whether it's AWS, Azure, Google, Oracle. Pick more than one if you want to, and then answer, then we can start sending you more useful content around that as well. Now, one more thing before we go on multi-cloud. In 2018-19, I started transitioning to uh, the containers, Kubernetes, cloud native, and multi-cloud. And if you notice there, companies these days are looking for someone who has more than one cloud knowledge. So always don't limit yourself to first one cloud. If you're a beginner, then maybe begin with one, but slowly or sooner or uh, as soon as possible, add one more cloud as well. So 
if you look at the job opportunities, they, you will see across lots and lots of companies are looking for someone who knows more than one cloud. So that's another option you should be looking at. Now, very quickly, what is multi-cloud? Where you have more than one cloud uh, implementations. And that is where you will need a little bit more strong knowledge of um, of architect, architecting networking and how these cloud works together. I think we have run a class. If you're more interested about multi-cloud, let us know as well. So I hope um, um, if you're already working into IT, if you're already working into cloud and you want to move into the multi-cloud, and if you're interested to speak to my team, um, we, we're happy to guide and call, but this is um, uh, only if you're already working into IT and if you're already working in cloud and want to move into the multi-cloud. Your list ketonacademy.com for such book cloud, book, sorry, book call. And um, yeah, I hope you're now, you have a little bit more clarity which which cloud you should be picking based on these situations which I mentioned. So let me know in the comment section and I'll see you in another video. Take care. Bye-bye.